Now, going to take in and skin this, uh, it's quite large fallow buck. He's out with a chill. So, um, lads are saying I only skin handy deer that are freshly shot. So this is out with a chill and uh, I'm going to take into it and skin it as per normal. And we'll see how we, uh, how we get on with this animal here. So uh, we'll just go through it using an ecker hunting knife. We'll take down the, the chest area first. As you can see, he's as stiff as anything. Open the neck the whole way down. And just give that a pinch. Give that a pinch, just lifting the skin a little. Now, of course, there'll be a bit more pulling involved here, but I'm just showing you that not all deer are are too simple skin, especially the bigger ones, and especially ones that have been hanging. So, as I said, this deer has been hanging, and you'll notice with the effort it'll take when I'm pulling that hide. Just clearing the chest area like that. We lift a little skin up here, something to grip. On both sides. As I said, this is a large fellow book, roughly around the 45. Um, carcass weight, 45 kg carcass weight, so, and he's fairly stiff, and that, as you can see, me sticking, then we'll come up here, give the leg a little pinch to the skin, finger place it in, all the way up, take that off, again just pinch, give the skin a bit of shake, loosen it up, finger in, all the way up. Oh, yeah. telephone call in the middle of that. What's new? Now, we'll try pull the hide. The hide will be a lot, a lot more difficult to lift on this one. I've got a bit of meat there, so we need to separate that. Ones. When the belly was opened on this, it wasn't center. That's why I'm getting that little bit of meat. It's been attached to the hide, so that's why I'm doing a little bit more than I usually would with the knife on, on this one. As I said, the most important bit is that flank. That flank there. So. Hopefully now that we've cleared that, as I said, on the bigger animals, a lot more physical effort is required. And this book is tough. On the smaller, lighter animals, be no need for this much knife but this is an old an old book and he is testing it See, the animals come out with the chill.
a lot tougher to deal with. That leg is cleared. Thank God. Just allowing us to grip, clearing that there. So I say we should have very little meat on this hide if it goes to plan. But you can see on stiff and big animals, a lot more oomph and physical is demanded. This section here is hugely important to the skinning process. If that is pulled, if that is cut or severed, it will incur a lot of work on, on top of the skinning. same time we will get through it. As I said the big old books are a lot tougher to pull the hide on. and especially when they're being chilled. And this carcass has been chilled down. And after the rut, There's absolutely no fat on after the rut. Just adding to our difficulties here, but <laughs> not going to let it best me. Absolutely no fat on them at all, and the skin is welded. Welded to this book. Get a clean section of the cloth. Body weight to pull the height down. This definitely falls into the ranks of one of the most difficult books I've skinned. 
fact that it's so lean. At the same time, he has to be skinned and skin him I will. Tidy him up. Move any of the pizzle. Open up his chest cavity. Make it presentable. And, uh, split the hedge bone. There we have it. Skin, we'll just remove that vice box. There we go, he's skinned. And skinned quite well with hardly any knife marks. So um that's how you skin a tough book. A lot more oomph and a bit more knife involved. But at the end of the day it has to be done and it's done.